Well, imagine putting something in your body called gravel. Police in Ohio and across the country are seeing a spike in the use of this dangerous street drug. Christian Hauser is here to explain. You don't know what's in it, for one thing. And even if they tell you something's in it, you, you don't, you're not sure if that's what it is or not. You know, they're finding bug spray. They're finding all kinds of chemicals in it that are just not meant to be smoked. Josh Quinn is just trying to enjoy his life. He loves his son and daughter, but Quinn also has smoked pot and even tried the designer drug Spice. When I tried it, it was when it was first introduced to the scene. And if, if I would have heard everything that I heard now or if I would have known what I've known now, there no way would I try it. I mean, it's just dangerous. It's been two years since Quinn first tried it. I needed to pass a year analysis for work. And I thought that, you know, I'd, I'd quit smoking pot and start smoking the spice. To be clear, gravel and spice are not the same thing. Gravel is the latest in the alpha PVP category. That's the stimulant in it. But both drugs are man-made. Spice is smoked, but gravel can be smoked, snorted, or even injected. It's like a synthetic form of meth. Dr. Nancy Pook has spent her entire career working in the ER. She sees patients come in with more than just a racing heartbeat. To agitation, to pacing, to even becoming violent, paranoid, psychotic, even to the extreme of seizing. And so it can be a very serious condition. It can even cause users to harm themselves or others. Brooke Ehlers has worked 16 years at the crime lab. It terrifies me having children and it seems like the drug cases that we get the users are younger and younger and younger, and I don't know at what age it's appropriate to start talking to your children. Quinn says he knew the first time he tried spice he shouldn't have. I had panic attacks on the spot when I smoked it, and even after I quit smoking it, I still have the panic attacks. Quinn hopes with time he'll no longer suffer these panic attacks. He says if you have teens, you need to warn them about the dangers of these synthetic drugs. The good news so far is cops in our area are not seeing gravel, but it has been found in other parts of the state. Reporting in Kettering, Christian Hauser, Fox 45 News. And we've got all sorts of resources on these dangerous drugs and how to talk to your kids on saying no to drugs. Just go to our website, fox45now.com.